What's happening there, Reject Nation? Greg and <gasps> John! That's right, get excited because John's here. We are going to watch Start Today, a series I have wanted to start up, seen clips of. I've, I might have seen an episode or two years oh. ago. I've been like itching for a comedy show to start up on YouTube. So we're going with Brooklyn Nine. Nine. I feel like John's in the same boat as me when it comes yeah. to Brooklyn Nine-Nine, <laughs> when they're like, yeah, we want to start this up. I know it's very different from all the other shows that we usually cover for YouTube. It'd be nice to have like a weekly show or maybe twice a week, something that just we know it will be guaranteed laughs for us. Yeah, come have Enjoy. fun with us. Come to find out, this is the deepest, most thought-provoking. We need to take notes. <laughs> Police brutality <Damn> <laughs> allegory show. Yeah, it's gonna be great. <laughs> Guys, subscribe and click that notification bell to get notified when our reaction for the next Brooklyn Nine-Nine episode is up. If this all goes well, hit that like button. Full-length watch-alongs will be over at our Patreon page where you sync up with the time code. We also cover a whole bunch of shows over there. We're at the same tier. You get the option for both reaction highlights and watch-along included. Those thumbnails are just a few of the shows that we cover. Big thanks to Pratham Jindal for editing these highlights for us. Anywho, let's watch this. I'm so excited. This job is eating me alive. I can't breathe anymore. I'm not becoming like them. I am them. Oh no. Hey, what are you doing, weirdo? I'm doing the best speech from Donnie Brasco. What's up? Get it together, man. I already solved the case. We're looking for three white males, one of whom has sleeved hats on both arms. And how do you know that? I had an informant on the inside. His code name? Fuzzy Cuddle Bear. He's an Anacam. Yeah. You got lucky. No, I got here five minutes before you and figured that in this gigantic electronic store, there had to be at least one working camera. Oh, <laughs> hi, bad guy. You did it, Fuzzy. You busted him. It's time to come home. I'm not sure if I can. I've been undercover so long. <laughs> it's a Cadbury bear. bear. <laughs> he would be a fun cop. Absolutely. Yes, I did crack the case. So, Santiago, would you do the honors? I hate this. Oh, yeah. I hate this. And you're just going to want to add one. I'm winning. I already want them to get together. <laughs> Not going to happen, man. JP, update. Hey, Terry Crews. Oh, damn. Earlier this morning, someone decided to shoot and kill luxury food importer Henry Morgenthau. Morgenthau! Eating lady, during her interview, I deduced using expert detective work that she had something super gross on her chin. Oh. Maybe it's just old person gunk. You know how old people always have that gunk on them? Oldy gunk could be. <laughs> oh. Heard anything about the new captain? Uh, no, and I don't care. I just wish Captain McGinley never left. He was the best. He was terrible. Just liked him because he let you do anything you wanted. On your marks! Oh, no. Get set! Yeah. What the hell's going on around here? Fire extinguisher roller chair derby? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> oh, how fun. Hey, that captain was Trigger on Friends. Phil and... Lord and Chris Miller! <laughs> yeah. I saw them in the EPs, but I didn't know they directed it. With following every rule in the patrol guide, meet Morp Z, robot captain engage. Is that what you think? Hey, <laughs> new captain alert. You must be the new CEO. I'm Detective Jake Peralta. Great to meet you. Now, the next time I see you, I'd like you to be wearing a necktie. I'm your new commanding officer, Captain Ray Holt. Speech. That was my speech. Short, sweet. <laughs> Does anyone get a little bit of a gay vibe? Sergeant, you were in the 1-8 with me. Though you were significantly fatter, sir. They called me Terry Titties. <laughs> because I had titties, yes, I remember. Though, to be fair, it was accurate. <laughs> Poor guy. <laughs> Tell me about your detective squad. <clears throat> Um, well, Scully, Hitchcock, and Daniels, they're pretty much worthless, but they make good coffee. Cop that. All three of them make good coffee. Not a good one. <laughs> Rosa Diaz, tough, smart, hard to read, and really scary. Tell me who has me for Secret Santa. Oh, that takes all the fun out of it. It's Scully. He got you a scarf. I'll make him return it. Yes, you will. <laughs> Aww. Oh, He's a good one. Tell me about Peralta. Jacob Peralta is my best detective. He likes putting away bad guys and he loves solving puzzles. 
The only puzzle he hasn't solved? How to grow up. That was very well put. You know how important this is to me. This precinct is doing fine, but I want to make it the best one in Brooklyn. I'm so glad we're watching this. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's like it's already like friends I don't want to stop hanging out with. <laughs> Great work, detective. You get a tie. Yeah, that's mine. You took it from my desk. That's right, Charles. Good solve. Tie for you. Thanks. <laughs> my own tie. Yeah, he's a little too serious. What do you think, Rosa? Seems cool. Yeah, it seems cool. I agree. <laughs> <laughs> And a jamón ibérico ham valued at what? Six thousand dollars. Six thousand dollars for a ham? Jamón ibérico is an amazing cured ham. <laughs> All right, listen up, everybody. Better contact Captain Holt. Let him know we got a ten tie situation. Speaking of ties, where's yours, Meat Morp? Captain, hey, welcome to the murder. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'd like to know what my detectives are up to. That okay by you? Take Santiago, and knock on doors, see if the neighbors heard anything. Hey, Rosa, Rosa, Rosa. Um, I, I just happened to notice that uh, there's an old movie festival play at the Film Forum this week. Want to go? Sure. Cool. Awesome. There's a bunch of movie options. I'll probably just go. Should say like, yes. Like Citizen Kane. Citizen Kane is terrible. Pick a good movie. Good call. Smart. <laughs> I'll do it. I'll pick a better movie than Citizen Kane. <laughs> Beautiful delivery. <laughs> Hello. Hey. What's your name? My name? Mm -hmm. Milipnos. Have you seen this man before? He was shot last night. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, sir, that's ours. It's <laughs> 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 hilarious. None of the neighbors heard or saw anything. While you're out, you can buy yourself a tie. Oh, I'm wearing a tie right now. Check it out. Secret tie. First of all, I think you're kind of overdoing it with the manscaping. Does anyone here know why it's so important to me that you all dress appropriately? Because not one of you can solve this simple mystery. Yep. What about this fancy ham stuff? Pomona Barrico. Yes. Is there a place nearby the crime scene that sells it? Beneficios might. Let's go. You gotta brief the CO first. We'll brief him after we catch the guy. My name is Ratko. I don't know anything. Oh, okay. You recognize this guy, Henry Morgenthau? No. <laughs> Maybe. I don't know what happened. No more questions. You do know Morgan Thau. He came in here and tried to sell you some hams. You knew they were worth a lot of money, so you tried to steal them from him when he wasn't home. Only he was home, so you shot him. Does that sound familiar? <laughs> uh, <laughs> NYPD, everyone down! Ma'am, if you could just get down, or ignore me and continue shopping. <laughs> I think I know where they shot this. <laughs> How are you still here? <laughs> oh no! Oh no! Oh god! Oh no! I cannot serve that ice cream anymore. <laughs> Not brief you, and yes, he did get away, but I got you, Hazelnut. Is he seriously assigning me to the records room? You lucky man. I wish I could get a sign here full time. You wrong about Hope. That man has forgotten more about being a cop than you will ever know. <laughs> In 1981, he caught the Disco Strangler. <laughs> yes. It's over, Disco Man. Put down the yo-yo and back away from the girl. <laughs> so, what movie did you get us tickets to? Oh, well, just to be safe, I bought tickets to all of them. <laughs> oh, no. No, buddy. <laughs> because you're sort of opinionated. You think I'm opinionated? OK, here's an opinion for you. You're a bad judge of character, and your shirt looks like vomit. So we can go see North by Northwest? We're not seeing a movie together. Aww. Smart. Keep it fresh. Aww. Hey, Captain. So you found something? Hey, I like the tie. If you can't beat him, join him. Anyway, I think I got something good here. Turns out the name Radko is made up, but I was digging through these files, one of which I literally found in a spider web. It turns out <laughs> there were a bunch of references to a Serbian thug, street names The Rat and the Butcher, who's known to hang out at a storage unit near Borum Park, which has red soil, hence the muddy red footprint on Morgenthau's counter. That's fine work, Detective. Testament to what can be achieved when you dress appropriately. <laughs> Let's pound it out. <laughs> oh, I knew there had to be something. <laughs>
Let's share it with the whole team. Santiago, boy of Diaz, get in yes. here. Bring everyone. <laughs> And a camera. That's not necessary. <laughs> let's have a hand oh, for the huge. work of a fine master detective, Jake Peralta. Oh. Yeah, let's have a hand, everyone. Give him a hand. Yeah, nice. No record of Racco on the ledger. Must have used cash. Well, I, for one, am just pumped to be on a stakeout with you, Captain. Does he always talk this much? I just tune it out. It's like a white noise machine. OK, first of all, that's racist. <laughs> With all due respect, sir, why'd it take you so long to get your first command? Because I'm gay. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously? I'm surprised you didn't know. I don't try to hide it. <laughs> Man, <I'm scared. laughs> Yeah. Damn. I am not a good detective. Oh. Here. I feel bad that you spent all that money on the movie tickets. Why don't you just go to the movies with nope. me? Well, this is awkward. It's not awkward. I like your company. You're sweet. Why did you come out? The NYPD was not ready for an openly gay detective. But then the old guard died out. Suddenly, they couldn't wait to show off the fact that they had a highly ranking gay officer. I mean, captain. But they put me in a public affairs unit. But all I ever really wanted was my own command, and I'm not gonna screw it up. Uh, Captain, I'm sorry. I, I feel like a jackass. But on the flip side, there's Ratko. Humility over. I'm amazing. <laughs> Humility over. <laughs> oh, oh man. Good. The book of quotes to use. <laughs> ah, shooter. Yeah, <laughs> anything that moves. See you. You can't stop me. Because if you take a look to your left, you'll see Detectives Boyle and Diaz. Right there is Detective Santiago. <laughs> and behind you is Captain Holt. Point is, my team has you surrounded. Oh my god, I just got the tie thing. Captain, I just figured it out. Maybe now's not the best time, <laughs> Detective. It's a uniform. We're a team. <laughs> the team for so long and now you're the coach and you want us to all wear that same <laughs> uniform boom nailed it yes you did now just arrest ratko all right ratko down drop the weapon hands on your head Here you go. no oh whoa nice stick what's wrong with you never took off the speedo big mistake oh great work team <laughs> I ah, smiled. <laughs> yeah. He smiled. Yeah, buddy. Oh, that was great. That was oh, that, that, was, that was what I needed. That was a delight. That was amazing. <laughs> that made me feel so good inside. <laughs> it's like solid. <laughs> solid. Yeah. I'm tempted to like talk about this for so long. <laughs> but you know, like we got so many episodes. We gotta to break go down, down the Easter eggs and all the hidden references. <laughs> we got so many episodes to go through and every TV show, especially network TV, I'm constantly reminded of, all right, you gotta give it a few episodes. You gotta give it like a few, like four to six on average. <laughs> yeah. And for a pilot, damn, that is solid. This is crisp. This yeah. is like a crisp, solid, pilot. You get to know everyone in a very fluid manner, the dynamics, the relationships, they all make perfect sense. Um, the motifs and tools they use to introduce everyone. I'm forgetting everyone's names, but like you have the, like with the captain showing up and then Terry Crews having to name drop everyone. I mean, like right from the very beginning, you immediately get Andy Samberg's character. Okay, he's like a, a goof off detective, has this image of a slacker, but then, you know, he solves the case at the very opening scene. And you're like, oh, but he's actually good at his job. You yeah. know, like, oh, that's cool. And then you get like the chemistry banter between him and do you remember that character's name? I don't remember the girl's name. Was her name? Nah, I'm blanking on it right now. <laughs> uh, attractive, funny woman. <laughs> whatever. Attractive, funny woman. <laughs> yeah. Until whatever. further notice. Uh, yeah, the the, the, the detective, uh, he's competing with. Also, you know, I, I don't know how every episode will be shot, but I thought there was some cool, like, subtle direction that, the, that they chose with the camera angles, like Phil Lord and Chris Miller. It, mm -hmm. it I don't know if I would have paid attention to it as much if I didn't know Phil Lord and Chris Miller were directing it. Yeah. But because of that, I did. They did a lot where they had the right blend 
of mockumentary style, but but it was like halfway there, so that way it didn't feel like you were watching a mockumentary. It didn't feel too much like The Office. No, no, it, it could have. Like they they did it handheld, and there were certain shots where it felt like mockumentary esque, especially when. Um, man, we need to learn some character names. Hold on, let me just pull up an eye. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Damn. Okay, Amy Santiago's her name. All right, got it. Session notes in the shot when Charles asked Rosa out. Camera was locked off in the way it punched in, but then there was also these other shots like in the grocery store where it looked like it was from the P the POV of one of those like mi circle mirror cameras yeah, that you see in his yeah, store. absolutely. So there's some interesting uh, direction flourishes they had here and then also some like cutaways that you will see in like a Phil Lord and Chris Miller style. I loved it. I thought it was great. Like everyone has chemistry. Like everyone has chemistry. Yeah. Like it's a great ensemble. I love the flip what they do with Terry Crews. Yes. Of, he's like the like the one who looks like he should be the action hero but yeah, he's the most yeah. scared to be in the yeah. field. You know? He's like, like psyched out when <laughs> Andy Samberg's in the records department like this is the place to be. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, and I mean, he plays that role really naturally, and this did a really nice job of just setting up both the characters, but then also some of the dynamics we can expect moving forward, like between Boyle and Rosa, or like between Peralta and Santiago, Peralta, Peralta and the Chief, Yeah, and I'm like really excited to see what that grows into, because even though, yeah, I mean, like it's funny on the beat humor, it seems like it also has a good grasp on who the characters are, and some of that comes from the natural charisma of the actors and the kinds of characters that mm. they play well in but also you know you you have to take time and care and I feel like that's something Phil Lord and Chris Miller are really good at with any project they touch is making sure that it has you know the whimsy and the fun elements of like we're poking fun at you know the cop uh, procedural genre so like you know that cutaway to him solving the disco murders like you know a perfect nod right, to like right. classic cop shows but it doesn't get too lost in the weeds of doing that and I feel like also looking at the visual style too it's like certain shows especially since the advent of The Office do go, I feel like, really hard, really lay it on thick and go like, see, you know, like this, this, you know, a fly in the wall kind of style that people love. And I feel like all of the elements, they really tempered quite well. So it's like, yeah, you can have the fun of the police procedural situation, but also there were a couple moments, like I, I actually liked the tie around with the whole theme of the ties. Yeah, and yeah, like that's hilarious. Putting it together. Yeah. And like the way that that created an actual character arc for their little relationship when they like a, le a learning lesson yeah, yeah. absolutely <laughs> and it immediately endears you both to the rascal who you need to kind of bring down to mm -hmm. a human level but also the tight ass you know chief who all who then you need to humanize a little bit and and yeah just like the character comedy the jokes the mm -hmm. writing like everything was on point man i mean yeah uh captain holt i, th I think it like it's such a great dynamic between Again, like that's that personality that we love Andy Samberg for, where he has like the guy who's like very loose. There is like a natural slacker esque, you know, like it's a like big class, <laughs> cool, chill, class can't clown kind of kid yeah. that you you would have. But I love how they do emphasize like, but he's really good at his job, you know. Like yeah, I think that, yeah. that adds a different edge to it. And also with Detective uh, Captain Holt, he is like. The, Technically, this like the the straight man. I mean, he's gay, but you know what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> so the, and even that's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like the receptionist lady brings it up at the beginning. Yeah, like, you get gay vibes. It's just like a, a joke, and then you find it really is. But I love the reveal. That it's a openly gay, <laughs> openly gay <laughs> captain yeah, or whatever. So yeah, it's like I don't so try funny. to hide it. You know? What was really funny about that is even though like his delivery is so much based on like not really smiling, being a straightforward being that, as that type of as possible. Captain Holt character. But he's still hilarious. Like it's he's funny. He's really he still has a great grasp of the comedy behind what he's doing. He's not just there for other people to be funny bouncing off of him. Like he's also really funny. Yeah, he's got that <laughs> subtle expression where it's like he's deadpan, but he will throw in inflections that are very full of personality. Yeah, you know, he's got takes, rhythm. Yeah, yeah, and that takes a lot of skill. Like it's it's no wonder they have a veteran actor like Andre Brower doing that because you know that's not not as easy to do as looks. No, no, no. And plus, I mean, too, you got some really fun character actors popping up like Fred Armisen, like for just mm -hmm. one beat, but he's so good at, again, creating these like weird, awkward, but hilarious little characters and stuff like that. And then that makes me excited for, you know, like Andy Samberg from SNL. Like, oh, they know half in the... New York, so yeah. Yeah. Must, yeah. It's like they gotta, they gotta know every comedian, so imagine the potential for, you know, cameos and other fun mm -hmm. characters to pop up and whatever. Yeah, and I think the chemistry between 
Andre Brower is his name. Mm-hmm. I would have Andre Brower be, having like a veteran actor. I don't know where, what Andy Samberg's celebrity status was at the time. That <laughs> I maybe mean, it was obviously post SNL. Uh, this is like just as he was leaving yeah, to okay. bigger pastures. All right, that makes sense. But but like the two of them together work so like so pr- to, better than I, I you I would ever think. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, uh, so yeah, uh, this is a, a solid ass show, and it's a detective show too. Like beyond all that, it has all this heart. Yes, it's mainly sets out to be a comedy, and they're ma- they're poking fun at tropes, and it's a like a workplace type of comedy, but. It's still like they're still doing detective stuff. Yeah, and I'm like oh, that's cool. And and it's still, still thrilling. Like, what's the mystery? That? Yeah, it's still I, got a pulse. I love this. This is a this is a fantastic fantastic first episode. R- rare is the day you get a pilot. It's that solid, it's that yeah. good. Yeah. yeah, I mean most pilots nowadays are designed for binge watch shows. And yeah, you gotta like just binge it. But here for a weekly show, I'm like, damn, I would tune in next week. <laughs> yeah. This was written as though it had to hook people to come <laughs> yeah. back to watch their TV <laughs> next week. I, I loved it. Everyone is so funny in this. Guys, Brooklyn Nine-Nine, are you guys fans? I don't know if this is one of those shows that evolves into, you know, uh, stronger character stories where it's like, oh, I gotta avoid spoilers. It's also. very abstract by season four. <laughs> <laughs> it's like ethereal and dreamlike Yeah, qualities. it's just like a Noah Hawley show at that point. You won't understand it, but it's hilarious. <laughs> you know what I mean? I don't want to, I, I, I probably won't de- D- deep dive into, deep, into yeah. the comments and stuff here, but leave your thoughts down below. Anyway, engagement helps out the video's performance. Hit that like button, subscribe, check us on Patreon, and last but not least, pa- <laughs> Maria Hammond. If there's anyone who can help bring joy into our lives, you know, since this being a comedy episode, who's brought a lot of smiles to us this week? It's you. We did an unboxing video over our Patreon where Maria sent John a thousand gifts. Just all the gifts. But she Thanks, sent uh, Olivia and I. Oh, is it in here? No, it's in, it's in the other room. Damn. Uh, she sent Olivia and I this. Here, here's just a photo of the thumbnail. Two of those are not from Maria, but most of those <laughs> are from <laughs> Maria. Maria. She sent us so much stuff. You're constantly checking up on us. You know, every once in a while she sends me a message on Twitter ma- making sure I'm just doing okay. Your motherly qualities really shine through and looking out for our well being. So, Thank you for all you gift us with, but mainly thank you for gifting us with your care and your presence. We love you. Thank you for being you, Maria. Hope you have a great month. But I hope next month sucks for you. Yeah. But this month, yeah. good. You learned it this month, but yeah. next month, unless you send us more stuff, That's and then you the deserve go to have a good month. That's how you earn it's a transactional good month. Good month. Uh, I hope it's good for you in total. In for the rest of the year, but 2022. Yeah, look out.